Hello students and welcome to Top Scholars. Students, I am back today with another very very interesting topic that is we are going to study about the classes Reptilia, Aves and Mammalia. So let us begin. Now students, all these three classes that is Reptilia, Aves and Mammalia, they belong to the super class Tetrapoda. And do you remember the meaning of Tetrapoda? It means animals having four limbs. Students, all these animals bear two pairs of appendages, but there are a few exceptions. For example, snakes have completely lost their limbs and they have become vestigial. So this is an exception, but most other tetrapods are going to have four appendages. Moving on students, let us first talk about reptilia. Now students, this word reptilia or reptiles comes from the word repair, which means to creep or to glide or to crawl. Students, these are organisms which are going to respire using lungs because all of them are terrestrial. Yes, crocodiles do enter water, but they need to come to land or to surface on water to breathe. Next students, their heart is three chambered having two auricles and one ventricle. But there is an exception to this. Crocodilians like crocodiles, alligators and also turtles as well as tortoises have a four chambered heart. Moving on students, the skin has very thick scales or scutes which offer excellent protection and these are cold blooded animals meaning they cannot maintain a constant body temperature. Finally, students, reptiles are all oviparous, meaning that they lay eggs. Next, students, let us take a look at certain examples. Snakes, turtles, tortoises, reptiles and many types of lizards are all very good examples of the class Reptilia. Moving on, let us now study about apes. This word apes is derived from the Latin word avis which means birds. So students, all the birds are included under aves, which all respire by lungs. Their heart is four chambered, just like humans, and they show complete double circulation. Moving on students, the four limbs in birds are modified into wings for flight. There are also many other modifications for flight. For example, urinary bladder is absent. And in females, only one ovary is present. The absence of these organs reduces their weight, which is very helpful for flying. Moving on, the skin has exoskeleton, which is completely made up of feathers. But very few people know this or very few people may have noticed this. Even though the entire body is covered with feathers, the hind limbs of birds are covered with scales. This students is a clear indication that aves have evolved from reptiles. Moving on students, these are warm blooded animals also called as homeothermic. That means they can maintain a constant body temperature. And finally students, all birds are oviparous. That means they lay eggs and also parental care is exhibited. To learn more about this topic, download Top Scholars app. 